Everyone's heard of the 1929 Wall Street crash, but did you know a similar crash was stopped in 1907? The Panic of 1907 started in mid-October, when a group of companies tried to corner the market on stock in the United Copper Company. When this failed, customers worried that banks that had lent money to the scheme would collapse, and they rushed to withdraw their savings. This led to the collapse of the third largest bank in New York and a three-week plunge in stock prices, only exacerbating the problem of bank runs, as banks across the country declared, you guessed it, bankruptcy. Enter magnate J.P. Morgan, who personally bought large amounts of stocks in troubled banks and companies in order to show confidence and stabilize the market, and who convinced other industrial titans to do the same. Even the famed anti-monopolist, President Theodore Roosevelt, who disliked Morgan, bent his principles and signed off on Morgan's U.S. Steel, taking over a rival that was about to collapse. And it worked. So well, in fact, that the group tried the same thing on Black Tuesday in 1929. But to find out how that turned out, click the link below.